what is the total calculated demand for a service where there are two 10 kW ranges in a residential setting? And the correct answer is 11 kW. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love to cook. When me and my wife first got together that first year, I did a lot of the cooking because I learned how to do it growing up. Over the next few years, while my mother was still alive, she learned how to cook with her. And now she is one of the best chefs that I know. But the answer to this question, thankfully, we don't have to do any calculation at all. We get to use one of my favorite tables in the NEC, and that's table 220.55. This is a much more complex subject. And if you want to head over to electricalcodecoach.com, you can learn all about the nuances of the three different columns how to apply them all, and you can learn that absolutely for free if you'll just click on the free version and go to about week four, you'll find this full lesson. But today, let's answer this individual question. When you're looking at this table, you're gonna look first at the left-hand side and find your number of ranges. In this case, we have two ranges. So we're gonna go down to where it says two. Then we have to ask the question, which column am I going to be using? Am I going to be using column A, column B, or column C? Well, that is actually decided by the rating of one of the ranges, of the individual range, if they're all of the same KW, and in this case, they are both 10. So we need to take one of them, which is a 10 KW range, and find out what column we're in. If our range was 3.5 KWs or less, we would use column A. If our range fell in between these values, which is 3.5 to 8.75, we would use column B. And then our range is a 10 kW and it falls in between these values. That lets us know that we need to use column C throughout this entire process. We're going to start on the left hand side and find our number of ranges, which is 2. Then we're going to cross over to column C and we'll find that the values in column C are not a multiplier, a demand factor. They are in fact a replacement value. So after we do all of this work, we're going to find that the actual demand that you would calculate for a residential service for two 10 kW ranges is going to be 11 kW. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.